Hello everyone. So in, in my last video, I um, talked about the using the let expression and um, and uh, local bindings. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about let rec. Uh, let rec. Um, basically, um, the syntax for let a let expression is let, and then um, you have like some variable some value, you close it off, and then you have a body where the evaluation takes place. Well, um, <laughs> I don't know, value undefined. Um, so yeah, you do a lot with that, but if you want to use recursion, um, I'm going to show you an example of when you might run into some problems here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, use just a let statement. Um, and this is um, going to compute the factorial of a number. Um, if you don't know what factorial is, it's basically um, uh, when you take a number, it's, it's going to be multiplied by um, one less than itself all the way down to uh, one or all the way down to zero, and the uh, zero factorial, of course, is one. So um, this is actually a pretty typical, like, uh, w when computer science uh, teachers want to introduce students to um, recursion, they usually talk about uh, factorials. That seems to be, like, the standard thing to talk about. Uh, let's see, yeah. I think we have enough parentheses there. So then of course you have to include the body of the statement and close it off. And yep, get this um, error message here. It says fact undefined. Cannot reference in identifier before its definition. Okay, and as you can see it's highlighted right here. Um, basically um, it's telling us that this, this uh, variable right here, fact, is unbound. Um, if you look at this one right here, this is bound. This uh, variable is bound to this uh, value right here, which is um, all of that. But this um, fact is not bound to anything. Um, in fact, it doesn't even really know what to do with it. Um, Another way to think of it is um, this this fact, this uh, val uh, variable right here is not visible. So um, I guess you could consider that a free variable. So th this very uh, uh, this variable right here is is visible. This variable right here is not visible. So um, we have to basically come up with another way to, to write this program. Um, well, we don't really have to come up with anything. I'm just basically going to just tell you what, I, what I'm what i reading right here in the book. But um, this is why we need to use let rec. Uh, I think let rec means like let recursion or something. Uh, looks like this. Uh, the syntax for let rec is going to be um, I'm going to show you the syntax real quick. So it's going to be variable, uh, value, uh, really as many as you want. Um, and then you have the body, of course. Um, and you just close it off. And that's pretty much the basic syntax of it. but. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go, again, we're going to um, define the variable fact by the value of this lambda expression. Uh, we're going to give it the argument n, which can be any number you input. Uh, we're going to say this condition right here, so if it's 0, uh, if n is 0, right, a right away we don't really have to do anything because we can just return 1. Because um, 0 factorial is 1. But if it's not 0, we're going to go ahead and multiply it. 
we're gonna multiply n by, and then we're gonna recur over fact again. So we're gonna multiply n by um, fact, and then this right here, sub one, is a it's a built-in um, procedure that just subtracts one from whatever value um, you give it. So in this case, it's n, so it's gonna be uh, n minus one. So it's gonna be n times n minus one, and we're gonna go ahead and close it off. Um, and looks like we're oh yeah we're missing the body uh, whoops my bad uh, uh, so in here the body is where the actual uh, we'll give it a value of five which I think is let's see five times four is twenty. Uh, times 3 is 60, times 2 is 120, I think, did I do that right? Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and close this off. Yeah, 120. Perfect. So, um, and again, like I said, the, uh, the body of the uh, let rig exp expression is where the evaluation takes place. Um, this, all of this right here is just a, a value that gets um, binded to well, fact is actually bound to this value, so it's given the uh, this value right here, and then um, and then the body it, it basically evaluates it. But um, in order for recursion to take place, it essentially what's happening is it's just um, making multiple copies of itself. So um, the simple answer, the simple way to describe recursion is a function calling itself, but it's actually there's actually a lot more than that. Um, but right here, you see um, fact is going to pass the argument of whatever n is, and then basically it's going to start all over again, and it's going to do this little conditional check, and it's going to keep going until um, until its n is 0. And then, um, because it made so many copies of itself, it has to actually evaluate it, so uh, 0 is going to return 1, so it's going to be n times 1, which is, you know, 2. Um, and then two is going to get returned, so it's going to be three times two, which is six, etc. Um, but factorial five would be like five uh, times four. Whoops, four. Damn it. Times three times two times one, which equals one twenty. Um, so that's why you need to use let rec, just because um, the other way we did when we were using uh, let. Um, uh, it, it won't let us use let because <laughs> sounds funny. Um, because uh, in this case, fact is not visible, and when it recurs over it, it doesn't know what to do with it. All right. I hope you like this video, and um, thank you for watching.